Hi friends, it's Miss Mandy and Meatball from the Brad at Carnegie Library. And it's Friday morning story time! Yay! You want to help with a movie? Oh, she's so excited. So excited. She's excited to sing our hello song. Are we ready, friends? Let's do my ears say hello. My ears say hello. When I see all my friends, my ears say hello. Meatball has her listening ears. Good job. And what else do we have? We have our hands. My hands say hello. My hands say hello. Let me see all my friends. My hands say hello. Good job. What else? Let's do our noses. My nose says hello. Boop. My nose says hello. Boop. Let me see all my friends. My nose says hello. Boop. How about... Oh, let's do our elbows. My elbows say hello. My elbows say hello. When I see all my friends, my elbows say hello. Meatball has elbows, too. Yeah, she got elbows. She has elbows. <laughs> all right. How about, yes, oh, we can do our tongues. My tongue says hello. My tongue says hello. When I see all my friends, my tongue says hello. Meatball's tongue is always saying hello. She always has her tongue out. And let's do our smiles. My smile says hello. My smile says hello. When you see all my friends, my smile says hello. We do our whole body. Ow! Get our whole body. Do our bodies. Our whole body. She bit my nose. My whole body says hello. My whole body says hello. When you see all my friends, my whole body says hello. She didn't mean to bite my nose. I think she she just got me with her tooth a little bit, but that's okay. She means to. She's very excited. So today, friends, we have a story about taking care of our pets. Cause that's important, we have to take care of our pets. We have to feed them and we have to give them a nice place to sleep. And we have to make sure that we take them to the doctor, even when they're not sick, just to make sure they're okay. And we have to keep them safe. They would keep them in the house or in the yard or on a leash, we could keep them safe. And we need to teach them to be good. Yeah. We have to teach them things like teach them how to go potty outside. And we also need to give them baths. <gasps> what do you think about baths, Meatball? She's smiling. She's being polite, which is also very nice. But she doesn't like to go to bath. She doesn't like it. But sometimes... Just like we do, people sometimes, like, pets get smelly or they get dirty. Sometimes she likes to roll around in the dirt and she's filthy, filthy, dirty. She needs a bath. So for Meatball, she doesn't like the bathtub. Sometimes she likes her baby pool outside. But I give her little wipes and that's how we wipe her, her face. And... We are going to get to our story. Remember how every week I said we would give Meatball a new toy every week? This week it's a platypus! You your platypus? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> wow. She's very excited to have her platypus. Really excited. Wow, she really loves it. Alright. So today, our book is called How to Give Your Cat a Bath in Five Easy Steps. Well, we're always looking for, for ways to make our chores a little bit easier. So, yeah, I think I would like to find out how to make giving a cat a bath a little bit easier. To find out. Okay, and this is by Nicola Winstanley and John Martz. How to give your cat a bath in five easy steps. Step one. Fill the bathtub with warm water. Okay, pretty cool. We have a rubber ducky and towels and we have the kitty with us. That's good. Good start. Uh-oh. That is too much water. Oops. Yeah, we don't want to fill it all the way to the top. That's too much. Step one. Put a little warm water in the bath. And she says, this much? Friends, is that going to be enough water to give the kitty a bath? I don't think so. Step one, 
put a little warm water in the bath. It should come up to your cat's knees. Knees? Do cats have knees? They do, they have knees. But let's look at this. Our kitty, he's gone. Took off and he knocked over the plant. Oh, step two, put your cat in the, wait, where is the cat? Mr. Flea, Mr. Flea, where are you? Don't you want to be clean? I don't think Mr. Flea cares if he's clean. <laughs> Have you found Mr. Flea yet? Okay, let's look for him. All right, first we're gonna look under the bed. Is he under the bed? No, but, oh, I spy him there. She didn't find him. Okay, well, let's look in the dryer. I had a kitty who used to like to hang out in the dryer. Nope, not there, but he's in the laundry, but she didn't see him. All right, let's see if he's hiding in the trash can. No, but I see a floofy tail. Let's see. Oh, let's look behind the couch. Maybe he's behind the couch. Is he behind the couch? No. But I think he might be under the couch cushion. No, we're back in the kitchen. She says, I can't find him anywhere. <laughs> Maybe we should start again. Step one, find your, and her friend says, mm -mm, no. Step one, have some milk and cookies. You will need some energy. Yeah. I think we're going to need some energy to find this cat and to give the kitty a bath for sure. Fine. Step one have some milk and cookies. Ooh, she's all fancy. She put her milk and cookies on a tray with a plate and even a bendy straw. But. Look who is coming to get those cookies. <gasps> it's Mr. Flea. What do you think he's going to do? <sighs> Step two, find your cat. <sighs> Found him. He's drinking all that milk. He knocked everything over. Oh. Do you notice how messy this house is getting? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Step three, put your cat in the, hold on, is that water still warm? And our friend says, I think it's cold. Yeah, look at Mr. Flea. I don't think that's the face of a kitty who is enjoying a warm bath. Ever get into a pool and it's really cold and you're like, <gasps> yeah, that's what, that's what Mr. Flea is doing. Oh boy, okay. Step four, hold your cat in one arm and turn on the tap with your other. And Mr. Flea, what do you think he's, th he's saying? He's saying, no, I am out of here. <gasps> Mr. Flea, wait! Oh, the plant is knocked over. And the shelf is knocked over and there's toilet paper everywhere. Oh my goodness. Step five, chase your cat down the stairs. Thump, 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 thump. Step six, run back to the bathroom. I thought you said there were only five steps. Step six, run. Oh my goodness, look at that mess. Uh-oh. Step seven, turn off the water. Oh no. Oh, yeah. There's water everywhere. Step eight, mop the floor. Oh, my gosh. She overflowed the bathtub. Oh, she's in big trouble, I think. Step nine, find. And our friend says, step nine, have another cookie. I think I would like to be friends with her. Because cookies are also important. Yeah, sometimes you have to take a little break. Step 10, find your cat 
again. She's so tired. She can't even eat that cookie. Oh. But look. Look who's back on the scene again. It's Mr. Flea. And he's closer. And closer. And he's right there. And oh, look what he is doing. And our friend says, oh, he's giving himself a bath. How to give your cat a bath in one easy step. Step one, sit quietly while your cat licks himself clean. <sighs> the end. Look at this mess. Oh my goodness. There's toothpaste on the floor. There's underwear. There's a pickle. There's a broken picture and a banana peel. And I don't know how some of this stuff is where it is, but it's a mess. And that, friends, is the end. Mr. Flea was not on board with bath time. And I had, I had my kitty Mooney here, and I was going to show you how I get Mooney clean. And Fred, sometimes they get a little bit smelly. Well, maybe Fred will come. Sometimes they get a little bit smelly, or they'll get into something and they're a little bit dirty and they need a bath. But cats don't really like water very much. My cats like to play with the water, but they don't like to get wet. So I have special shampoo for them, and it is called Waterless Cat Shampoo. And it, here, I'll shake it up, and we pump it, and it's like, it's like a mousse, like a gel. Here, I'll put some on meatball, even though it's for cats. And beep. now she's going to smell like coconuts. <laughs> so that is a way that we can keep our, our animals clean, even if they don't like the bathtub. Most of the time, animals have ways of keeping themselves clean. Like a bath, a bath is a human thing. But I don't know. Sometimes they get really dirty and need a bath. All right, meatball. Are we ready to sing our goodbye song? Let's do it. Well, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. All my friends. Well, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. All my friends. Well, it's time to say goodbye. Wipe that teardrop from your eye. Well, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Bye, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye.